people may remember a few years ago, the Farrington family um, decided to sell the mobile home park that they had owned for many years. And there was a lot of concern when they put that on the market that um, <clears throat> that might be bought up by investors and the dis end up displacing the mobile, um, the, you know, the owners of the mobile homes that were on the site. The city was able to move quickly with these flexible dollars um, to support the residents as they really took control of their future, put in place an agreement where they, they actually purchased the, excuse me, they purchased uh, the, the park from the Farringtons. Um, the city's money was a tiny uh, amount of the overall purchase. They did the, they did the heavy lifting and the, the hard work, but the fact that we had some flexible resources that were available immediately played a, a key role in them being successful at that and being able to put agreement in place um, quickly that um, you know, has really allowed them, to, allowed them to take control of their future. And now if people have been through there recently, they're really doing a lot to upgrade that property. They've brought in some new, very energy efficient homes that have, uh, uh, result in new investment in that property and they're doing other things now to uh, upgrade the infrastructure. It's, uh, it's exciting to watch and um, it was, it, uh, I, th I think, you know, and the result is more than a hundred um, homes that are, are, you know, they're not actually regulated permanently affordable, but they are sort of, by the nature of what those homes are, they are likely to be a really unusual form of uh, quite affordable housing in this community for generations to come. So that's that's one recent example. Thank you so much. So we have, just to recap, there are four ballot <coughs> questions that the Burlington voters will be voting on on the 3rd of March. Um, the first is the school budget approval, which the mayor has spent some time explaining, but if you want more detail, you can certainly watch the school board presentation from the city of Burlington. Of course, we have all the school budget presentations from communities around us that are voting, so you can tune in here at Channel 17. Um, and then there will be number two, question two is an increase in the public safety tax rate, which is for new ambulance and the staff to support the ambulance, which is firefighters, so those are pretty highly qualified and technically, I mean, they're compensated at a rate that reflects their expertise. And then um, the proposed charter change in the housing trust fund, which is to really codify it, move it from a half cent sort of informally to a cent. That's right. And, and then and to have it rise with inflation. And have it rise with inflation. And number four is the charter change regarding the local election dates, which if I remember correctly, why don't you sum it up one more time? Yes, that will allow the city to have local election ballots available at the same time as state election ballots and streamline our early voting process as well as give voters a lo longer opportunity to cast their early ballots. And that really plays out in the November elections, the general elections? Yes. Okay, when there may be their state level, national level, and also local issues. Exactly. Wonderful. So I want to thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you for working so hard. Um, you know, it's kind of nice and neat on a piece of paper, but the backstory on all of these represents a lot of work and a lot of um, a lot of democracy in action, really. So thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for watching. And stay tuned here to Channel 17 for continuing coverage of Town Meeting 2020.